First thing you need is rubbing alcohol to clean the puppy's head and ears. I usually do this first prior to um, creating the posts. That way the puppy's ears and head can be drying uh, while I'm creating those posts. This is, next thing you need is Ostobond or Torbot. This is glue used to attach colostomy bags to humans. It works very well to make the tape stickier. This is also a medical adhesive. Um, I use this on the posts on the inside of the ears. Um, this is called Unisolve. It is the best an, um, adhesive remover. This is great for when you're taking off the wraps so you don't pull all the hair off your puppy. Next thing you'll need is uh, athletic tape. It comes in various sizes and colors um, for uh, adding the posts. This is backer rod, comes in various widths and lengths. You can get it at any hardware store, um, any big hardware store. It's used to fill cracks and crevices for um, building supplies. This is a finished um, post. It has been back wrapped by with tape. Let me show you how that works. So here is a piece of backer rod. You cut this much longer than the puppy's ear. Then you put the tape on at an angle. Remember you're back wrapping, so you're gonna want the sticky side out. So I start it like so, and then I just start wrapping while straightening out the rod while I go. Try and get it as wrinkle free as possible. It's not always possible, but do your best. <laughs> then this part where the uh, tape is not back wrapped, just cut another little piece off. And again with the sticky side out. <laughs> like so. And my puppy's ears are short enough that this is long enough. So then be very careful when you set it down that you don't get it on something that's going to stick to it and make it unsticky. So you don't need the back of the rod Clean the inside and the outside of the ear with rubbing alcohol. I want to make sure it's nice and clean. Then go ahead and let the puppy go play for a little while while it's it dries. It's a medical adhesive spray, and you just lightly spray the posts. And then you want it to dry a little so it's very tacky. All right, so then that has to sit and dry. This is another good thing while the puppy's ears are drying from the alcohol. So you take the, you might want to come over here. You take the post and you work it down into the base of the ear, like so, and then you stretch the ear up and gently round it around. Now when you're putting the tape on, be very careful that you do not cut the circulation off of the ear, so you lightly Put it around the ear and then very gently squish it. You want to be careful that you don't cut any circulation off or the puppy can literally lose an ear. So, around like so. And again. And this is the important one. This will hold it on for longer down at the base. Lift the ear up and go around the base. Like You're all right, so. baby. Good boy. Now, when you are cutting this to length, 
find the end of the ear. I cannot stress how important this is. Find the end of the ear, put your finger on it, and then cut. And this is what it looks like from that edge. All right, and then you do the next ear. Again, lift up. Pull the ear snug. Wrap it gently. And start your taping. Again, you don't pull the tape tight. You just lightly lay it on there and then you snug it with your fingers. What are you doing? I'm giving him something to do. Well, don't stop. Stop giving him something to do. All right, and again, down on the base, snug it up, and like so. Find the tip of the ear, and cut. The next thing you do is over the ends, of the ear and over the end and then another thing I like to do is make a bridge to support the ears down near the base you don't want it too tight. The puppy needs to be able to use his ears. There. There. And that is how I tape up uncropped ears and actually how we tape up cropped ears. And I have found that this helps strengthen the base for button ears. The next thing we're going to do is button ears. You need for taping down button ears is your hockey stick tape. It comes in a variety of colors or just white. You need a breathe right strip and you need this Japanese tape. Uh, the Sheltie people use this for taping their puppies ears down. First thing you do is you take a little bit of the Japanese tape. Did you tell them the name of it? I can't pronounce it. And you cut off a chunk about an inch or so. You make a couple of layers. Be sure and set it on something that it doesn't get stuck to or permanently stuck to. And then you take your Breathe Right strip. The idea here is to make a very stiff um, brace for the inside of the base of the ear. So I cut the Breathe Right strip, I cut the center out, and it just leaves me two little end pieces that are wide. Get the paper off. And on top of your two pieces, you put it near one end. And then you make another piece. If you don't have the Breathe Right strips, you need to use four or more pieces. So what you end up with is a little stiffener there and chunks of tape for a stiffener. Then I cut them into a teardrop shape. And you want to round it. It stays better without any sharp corners. So 
about and like you take so. your once you've got these completed one side sticky and one side isn't you add more of the glue and let that get a little tacky to the sticky side to the sticky side to, it makes it even stickier and then you let that get a little tacky be sure and put your lid on tightly or you're going to end up with it spilled <laughs> all over everywhere all right then you take your hockey stick tape which is very very sticky and you pull off enough to wrap around the puppy's head around her forehead kind of wide that'll be fine And I find you don't want to be too tight with this again because you don't want it to cut her little neck there. So, there. So, this is the first part for doing button ears. And then you take your little braces. Don't feed them. And you put them, can you just get in here? Down in the base. You want to support this bell, like so. Just hold on to it for a minute while it stickies up. And again in the bottom. So you want it below the natural crease and down here in the base. This is the part that you're trying to support. You want to show it from the back? Right, this needs to be out. Very important with button ears is this dent right there. That has to be there or their ears will not button properly. So then the next thing you do, this is important, is on top of the tape, right above the brown spots, little glue, little glue. The more you keep this on the tape, the less you have to get out of the puppy's hair later. And then pull out your next piece of tape. somewhere where you can get to it fairly quickly and the tip of the ear points at the brown spot and the tip of the ear points at the brown spot creates this divot and it's braced on the inside by that little white piece very gently lay the tape on Again, you're not winding this tightly, you're laying it around their head. And there you go. Now, some puppies get very adept at pulling this off this way. If that happens, then in between the two layers, add a strap behind their head. And this will stay on for three to five days. Then you'll want to remove it and let the ears go and see what they look like. Remember, this, is, this wrinkle right here is very important. And bracing the inside of the back of the ear, and that will create a nice button ear.